Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we will go through the 2019 April SAT exam, section four, question 36. So in this question, uh, it says in the xy plane, the graph of x squared plus bx plus c equals to y, where b and c are constants, has x intercepts at x equals to negative two and x equals to negative six. What is the value of B? Now, what it's trying to do here is to assess your understanding of quadratic functions. And they tell you the x-intercepts, and that means you, if you imagine what the graph may look like, it's gonna have a, an x-intercept here at negative two, and another x-intercept right here at negative six. So now if you look at the uh, given equation, it's just x square, x square. So you can imagine a graph to look something like this. All right. Now, if you have this picture in front of you, okay, in your head, that's a must. That is a must because you are going to relate the term x intercept to another very key word, which is factor. Okay, do you know the relationship between x-intercept and factor? Now, if you don't know, that means you have to uh, realize one thing, which is there's a thing called the factor theorem. What, it, what does it mean? It means that if, if f of a number a is equal to zero, then x minus a is a factor okay that's one thing that you need to know now actually there's another thing you should know which is uh, other than we call them x-intercepts we also have another name for these two points we call them the roots or we sometimes call them the zeros now this is very important because when we do quadratic functions you need to know the forms of it so you are seeing the standard form right here the standard form is right here. But there are two other forms that you should know. Now, uh, one form that is important, but uh, not gonna be important here, I'm gonna write it on the side, it's called the vertex form. If you don't know this, maybe it's, to t it's a good time for you to review about it. So it's a times x minus h squared plus k. Okay, so that's the vertex form, which we're not gonna use it here. But the other form that we're gonna use it here is called the root form. The root form is y equals to a x minus r1 times x minus r2. And r1 and r2 are the roots here. And if you know this form, that will be very helpful because that's a must in order to figure this question out. So we have r1 is equal to negative two. We have r2 is equal to negative six. And we're gonna put it into the, uh, put these two values into the root form, but there's one more thing we need to figure out, which is, what is the value of a? Well, the value of a is gonna be the leading coefficient in front of the x squared. And since, if you look at the x squared right here, the leading coefficient is just one. So a is simply one. So anything times one, it's just itself. So we can kind of simplify this into just x minus r1, x minus r2. And if we do that, y is equal to x minus negative two, x minus negative six. That means we have x plus two, because negative times negative, you have a positive. And then you have x plus six, okay? And all you need to do here is that go ahead and do the FOIL so that you can have the standard form. Now, you should be very proficient uh, on FOIL before you take the SAT. So I expect you to know how to do this very, very quickly. Okay. And what is the answer for B? Well, B is the coefficient uh, sitting right in front of the X. So what is the number sitting right in front of the X? number eight. So the answer is going to be just eight. So, so what's going on here? Uh, if I want to do a recap, well, what you need to do here is that when you see a quadratic equation, 
you need to be aware of the flexibility, your flexibility of interchanging the equation from the root form to the standard form or interchanging all these equations among the forms. You have standard form, which is the one that you're looking at here. You have the root form, which is this one, and you have the vertex form. You have to be ready to change. Uh, and if you don't know, well, you may want to review more. So the question here, they give you the x-intercepts and they wonder if you know that the x-intercepts are the factors or if you know that these are the roots. Either way, you would get to this equation or this equation. And this is where you think about, okay, if I have two parentheses here, they are factors, that means I can always make it into standard form and you just have to match up the numbers and it's all good. Now, based on the observation of SAT type of questions, so uh, in this case, they ask a pretty simple question asking you what the what is the value of B? And if you do more SAT practices, you will see that they may ask you what is, what is the value of C, or they may ask you uh, what is the value of B plus C, or C minus B. Like, the variations are infinite. But the key thing is, do you know how to match up the equations? Do you know that you can get the root form of the equation so that you can obtain the standard form with actual numbers? That is going to be the key task that you need to master before you take the SAT exam. Do you want some extra credit? If you do, subscribe our channel. I promise you, you will learn a lot more and get extra credit from that. If you have any question, please make sure that you email us at goodacademics at gmail.com. If you have any question in math, science, or education, just send them in and we will do our very best to resolve your problems. And I thank you very much for watching this video and uh, I hope that you will continue to learn a lot more through our channel. See you soon.